um, I'm still gonna have, as a big warning right now, I'm still gonna have the issue with this movement here. I'm using this really long board to do all these recordings, and because of that, it moves around a lot. I did have a 3D printed uh, tripod stand, but uh, it's broken now, so you know, yeah, that's that's not good. So I apologize if the video quality is still kind of eh. I'm also still using a phone. One day I hope to get better stuff. Right now, we have a new review of a really, really old card pack. Dragon Slayer stickers and rub off game with bubble gum. A little anxious to open this. But if you've ever heard of Dragon Slayer, it's an old PC game. I believe it, it was also an arcade game. I don't remember if it went on any consoles, but it was a timing, it's a time game. So if you hit the button at the right time, he goes the right way, that sort of thing. It was made by Don Bluth, and of, has some, of course, a lot of the same type of coloring style that he is famous for. But it also has a lot of... Um, I would have to say sexual reference because of the way the princess is. But great comedy, great game. Never got to fully play it, I had to watch someone play it because every time we bought the copy growing up, it was aired. So, I'm a little afraid of the bubblegum. This card pack, if you can see right here, it says, ooh, focus, focus, focus. Don Booth, 1983. So, it's going to be really nasty, probably inside. Let's go ahead and look at the back of it. It says what the uh, gum is made of. Collect all 63 stickers and rub-off games. I'm hoping what they mean by rub-off is these are those scratch-off cards. I love those, even though I never scratch them off. But very careful. Oh, this feels so awful. It feels so grody. Oh, oh, there's the gum. Yep, there's the gum. Well, safe to say that, no, that looks bad. Let's see. Hard as a rock. I'm going to wash my hands after this. Alright, let's look at the cards themselves. We got this nice little direction on how to play. Dragon's Rare, rub-off game. Alright. Dots, one point. Gold coin, 100 points. Sword, 300 points. Key, 500 points. Skull, 5 to 8. Game is over. Oh dear. Begin at the start and rub off the gold trail, uncovering the secrets of Dragon's Lair. You may go in any... Ooh. So you are rubbing directions off. That's... That's really cool. Wow, um, just that in and of itself, wow. Okay, so they all say the same thing on the back of each one. Man, that's really cool. Let's see what they look like. Ooh, well you can tell where the gum was. Prepare to die, just try it, lizard lips. Yeah, that would, I think after a little bit of, like, light cleaning of it, my hands were covered in it now. It'll look better. That's cool. This is one of the stickers. You peel it off and stick it on something. I probably won't because it's just neat being a sticker. Let's look at the next. Next sticker. Come on, big guy. Make my day. Wow. I always loved Don Blue's style. All the reds and pinks. Dragon's Lair is the real one. Where's the dragon? Tee hee. Oh! I didn't even look at the back of these stickers. They actually say things. Oh, they're little helps while playing the game. Begin pushing left when the screen begins. Next, while walk away, on the walkway, push the sword button. 
and then push the joystick to the left. Now you have a choice. The chain or the hole in the wall to the left. Don't go for the chain. It's certain death. So collecting these will give you the secrets on how to play the game and possibly win. So um, this is the only one I'm going to give because what if somebody's like, oh, I'm actually interested in playing this game I've never heard of. And because of that, that's the only spoiler I'm going to give. If you want to know the rest of the spoilers, you can always, you know, look it up or I can look at the back of these at some point. Okay, so here's the rub off game. You scratch these off and they reveal different locations and items and you get points or you end up dying. It looks like this one already scratched off a little bit. Wonder what that could be right there. Focus. It can't focus. Oh well. Let's see. Oh, this one has a picture of what looks appears to be a dark knight. Very nice. Probably how to fight him. And then let's look at this one. Ooh. Maybe bats come out of that cave. I really want to scratch one of these off, but I don't know if that destroys the value or not. <laughs> but that that concept, that is enough to be exciting. I mean that's just... they should do this more often. I like the idea that you grab a card and you scratch off different trails to see if you beat the level or not. I'm curious to know if this trail matches how the game is set up. That would be neat to find out. Because then you can follow the trail in here and if it leads you down the wrong path, maybe it'll lead you down the right... the right... Uh, wrong path in the game as well. The focus on this is terrible. But, thought that was interesting. I feel like this is a very weird sticker, but I do like the Where's the Dragon, so I might even use that at some point. But yeah, overall, for a set from the 80s, I like it. I just wish they'd done do the bubblegum thing. Whoever came up with putting bubblegum in card wrappers, I, regrets. They should. They probably regrets quite a bit. We'll see if this card cleans. Oh, it does. Look at that. It's cleaning up right now. Get this card cleaned up. That's much nicer. Um, if it didn't have the bubblegum, it would be even better because all the shit whatever this is, sugar or nasty contaminant powder. Either way, um, yeah, I think this is nice for the time in the year. I don't even mind the way the backs are because it explains how the game works. So, good job. Good job to the company, to Don Bluth, and what is this company's name? Fleer. Fleer was a very popular brand of cards back in the, or not brand of cards per se, but of a company that published a lot of different card sets. They were really popular back then. And it says Magicom Incorporated. And I also like how, even though the wrapper is basically a bubblegum wrapper, it makes it neat. You don't see that type of feeling nowadays. I like how it's got the designs on there from the game. It feels like it's its own advertisement, in a way. It's not made to be like super pretty, but it gets the point. It tells you exactly what you're getting in there. So, if I'm going to rate this, I'm going to definitely rate it up there. I'm going to have to give it a 10 out of 10 because it gave that potential game on there. Until next time, have a good one. So I decided to cut one off, or not cut one off, scratch one off. Yes, I would really like to cut this in pieces and then be sad my whole life. No. I decided to scratch one off because since this is already messed up, it would be, you know, might as well. Besides, I'm too excited to not. So here's the start. Let's see how well these work after all these years. I'm using some random casino chip that I 
got a couple days ago. Someone thought it was a quarter. Well, hmm. Well, this is interesting. It's, uh, it's not coming off. Maybe it's so old it doesn't come off anymore. Oh, 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 something's happening. Oh, I hope I'm not just ruining the card. I think I'm just ruining the card. Well, good to know. It, uh, so old it's not working anymore. That, that's a disappointment. Wonder if I use something else to rub it off. Um, let's see what we got. Let's try this bobby pin. Let's see if that works better. Just, it's indenting the card. Let's see if there's anything on the back that may help us. Nope, just says rub it off. Oh dear. Well, that's a bummer. After all these years, it's been sitting in a bag, in a pack, trying to find its way, and instead it just, it just gets destroyed. Well, that was uneventful.